Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. About six months ago, I upgraded to a computer from a laptop. And today, I wanna to walk you through how I ended up with a workstation level Intel setup for way less than retail. The total budget was way lower than you expect. Stay tuned until the end to check it out. Let's get into it. So the main things I care about were performance and price. I wasn't looking to build a gaming monster. I needed something strong for CAD design and video editing. I used to work with SketchUp, but I decided to switch to Fusion 360 because I wanted more powerful tools. And I was editing videos, well, let's say just in a very humble editing software. I wanted to move to DaVinci Resolve, which loved CPU power and RAM. So I knew right away, CPU was a priority, RAM was a priority, GPU, I don't play demanding games anyways, unless you can't raise F1. So GPU wasn't that important for me. I was ready to make purchases, so I checked prices, but it seemed that Facebook Marketplace had the best deals. The first thing I bought was a power supply. I wanted to start with it so I could power and test other parts as I got them, but that didn't work because you basically need everything together to test anything. I found a 700 watt unit for $40 that came with all the cables. And honestly at that price was a really good deal. Next thing was the CPU. I know I wanted an Intel i9. I was looking at some used 13900K listings for around $250 to $350. But then I found this listing for a 12900K. The guy wanted $200. I asked if he would take 160 and he said he could do it for 160 So now I'm thinking, okay, either this is the best deal of my life or I'm about to get scammed over a CPU. When I got there, he told me his friend gave it to him. He didn't know if it worked, but if it didn't, I could return it and get my money back. I decided to trust him, took the risk, and I will walk away with a 12900K for $160. Then it came a part where it hit the jackpot. I went to buy a motherboard for $120. Well, when I got there, the guy tells me, oh yeah, I also have other components. I never had time to build a PC, everything is brand new. Then he shows me a brand new case, $40, four sticks of 16 gigs of RAM for $40, one terabyte SSD for $40, a power supply, $60, Everything unopened, never used. So yeah, I bought everything except the power supplies because who am I to say no to steal brand new components at the sale prices? At this point, I literally felt I was robbing the guy. Most of those components were two or three times more than he was selling it at. And everything was brand new in the original packaging. After I bought all of those things, there weren't many things to buy. I bought a 3050 for $125, a really nice CPU cooler for $50, and five cheap RGB fans for 20 bucks. So then I started to put it all together. This was my first time building a PC. So for sure, I built a computer a couple of times after thinking it was done. Remember I forgot to connect the power supply to the CPU. I'm thinking I got a scan, but no, I didn't. Eventually I got everything into place. And it worked? Was it that easy? No, it wasn't. I had to do things like having to partition the SSD and messing with the BIOS, but eventually I was able to load Windows and start using it. Once it started working, I could already see the difference. Coming from a laptop with an Intel 7 Gen 8 and 12 gigs of RAM, you could really notice the difference. For Fusion 360, previously I feared Fusion because it ran so slow on my computer, I had to wait 10 seconds to 3 minutes in between actions. Now it ran perfectly. I'm not waiting for the computer to catch up anymore. The computer is waiting for me. For DaVinci Resolve, DaVinci was one with the most improvement, thanks to the improvement from 12 to 64 gigs of RAM. I can load multiple videos, have the playback stored in the RAM for fast playback once needed. So for the final specs and total price, here are the components. Intel 9, Gel 12, a GPU Asus Dual GeForce RTX 3050, 62 gigs of RAM of 36 megahertz. So for the full PC, I paid $635, which is a lot better 
for what these components are going for new, especially now that there is a RAM shortage. After doing some research, I was able to find these components new to compare the price and see how much I saved. The power supplies, around $60. The motherboard, around $140. For the case, $100. For the RAM, you can get two sticks of 16 gigs of RAM for $250, making it worth over $500. For the SSD, $150. The CPU, $280. The GPU, $200. The CPU cooler, I couldn't find the exact model, but around $60, and the fan, $20. Meaning the total cost, if I would have bought new components, it would have been up to $1,500. That's a crazy saving, around $1,000 of savings. So that's how I built my first personal computer. But I ended up with a workstation that can handle anything I throw at it. If you enjoyed this video, go to my channel page and look at all the other videos I have uploaded. If there is any you like, you can watch it and support this channel by doing so. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.